Hello, Facebook family. All right, so I want to talk to you guys about an all natural cleaning solution. Now this stain has been on this chair for over a year, okay? This is a chair that I um, was able to acquire. It was definitely a blessing. Um, it came with a dinette set. And so, um, but there was a stain here. And to my understanding, the stain has been here for well over a year. Um, at some point, uh, someone did try to clean the chair, but it didn't work. So what you can see from that is that there's an outer ring around the entire chair until you get to this corner here. And that's because I've already treated this corner with the natural cleaning solution. So what I'm going to do is show you guys exactly what I did to get that stain out and restore this area of the chair. And when it's all said and done, I'm gonna restore the entire chair with the natural cleaning solution. All right, so first thing you wanna do, first thing that you wanna do is spray the natural cleaning solution. All right, so I'm gonna spray this area here. Doesn't really take much, as you can see, um, the majority of this is water. Um, the natural solution was only about an ounce of this bottle. I've used it a bit now, so it's gone down. But only about an ounce of this bottle was the cleaning solution. And then the rest is water. So uh, it definitely is going to last me a long time. I'm going to let it sit for like maybe 30 seconds or so. Right? And all I did was spray this one little corner here so far. I've already cleaned that back corner. Like I said, you can see a major difference, especially towards the end. If you can see, I don't know how if you guys can see it as well as I can, but there's a lot of soot right here on the edge um, of the chair where it's just kind of dark all the way around. So then you take a dry paper towel, just a regular dry paper towel, or you can do it with a rag. You want it to be um, white or a light color, though, so that you can see when the chair um, has been soaked. And so all I'm doing, I'm not rubbing, right? I'm not uh, going back and forth with it. I'm simply just applying pressure to the paper towel. So when I do that, look at that. Look at all of that that's in that towel. It's soaking up all of that stain, all of that dirt that's in there, right? And so I'm gonna do that for the entire chair. You can already see a major difference there. I'm just going to refold my towel, apply it to that same corner, put a little pressure. Now, I am uh, not the strongest woman in all the world, so it is not taking a whole lot of pressure in order for me to do this. I'm just leaning in on it. As you can see, there's more dirt that's being soaked up from the chair. So I'm going to do this all the way around. And then I'm going to show you guys the finished product once I'm done. So I'm going to um, do that for the entire chair. I'm just going to spray it with the solution. And then I am going to take my dry towel and I'm going to press around the circle of the chair. And we're going to have a beautifully restored chair. Awesome. We'll be back. Okay, so here's what we have so far on the chair. Um, you can see that is still a little damp in areas that I sprayed around the ring. Um, but for the most part, and I really did not saturate the chair um, a lot at all. I just lightly sprayed the chair and then used paper towel, push down, remember not to rub. I will say that I ran into a little trouble here. You can actually um, probably, I don't know if you can see it, um, where I just kind of sprayed a larger area um, what I did here in this corner, remember that's where the big smudge was. I believe I've sprayed too much. And so it took me a, a minute to get that up. But um, throughout the chair, you can see that this is what came out of the chair. All of this. And this is the last one that I used. And so you see the smallest amount here. So that's basically what I did. I used a paper towel and I just pushed down on it so that it could soak up the dirt or the stain. And I did that until I was able to pretty much get, um, or actually to get um, nothing back on the chair. And so um, there was an area here 
there we go there was an area where I pressed down on the chair and really nothing came up so I knew I was finished there so I'm gonna let the chair um, finish drying and then I will show you the final results of the chair but you know that looks pretty dang blasted good okay so it is the next morning and um, the only reason why I let it sit overnight is because I decided to do this pretty late last night and so I went ahead and went to bed um, but I'm positive that it wouldn't have taken it long to dry I definitely wouldn't have taken it all night to dry it again because I did not saturate it um, but I wanted to show you guys um, that I still have a little work to do I've already um, uh, sprayed this area here if you can see it hopefully you guys can see it it's still a little bit of discoloration um, throughout the chair here towards the bottom um, a little on the side and the initial um, uh, stain that was taken up yesterday or last night that you guys saw that took like 10 minutes um, and that's probably because I did section by section but it took 10 minutes now this area um, I applied more pressure on this morning and you can definitely see a huge difference just between that area that was a large smudge there um, to the rest of the chair and so I did need to apply more pressure here I went ahead and um, like put some paper towel underneath my uh, knee and um, and and put my knee on it here and so I'll show you the paper towel that I had this morning so this is the paper towel I had this morning so you definitely see that more, um, so you definitely see that more came from that spot, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the chair out. Definitely see that more came from the spot there. Okay, Facebook. Um, so I have uh, gone over the entire chair at this point. Okay. And... This is where we are right now. So far, it looks pretty good. Um, this area, if you remember, there was a pretty big smudge in this area. Took me a while, but the initial stain, the initial darkness of the chair only took me about 10 minutes um, to get up. And that was just because I did it section by section. I spray a section and then apply a paper towel and get it up. Um, spray a section, get a paper towel and... and um, press down on it to get it up now you can see that there's still a little bit on the chair and in those trouble spots I had to apply more pressure so the majority of it the initial darkness of the stain came up with just um, me applying my my own <laughs> pressure and again um, I'm gonna turn a light on to this that might be a little better for you guys to see turning an additional light on but um, came up in about 10 minutes really didn't have to apply that much pressure I just leaned in on the chair and it came up so again this was a stain that was there for over a year well over a year and was able to come up which is awesome didn't spend a whole lot of time doing that um, the parts that were I had I guess it had just more underneath took me longer and took more pressure so it wasn't so much that I needed to saturate it to where it was just soaking wet not at all I did not do that but I did need to apply more pressure to get the trouble spots up so you can see that this corner here that's where I applied a whole lot of pressure here where that deep smudge was and you can see how nice and clean that is now Oh, I'm so excited this is awesome actually this is awesome I only see like maybe a spot here that I need to apply more pressure to yeah but that looks good all right Facebook um, all natural no chemicals safe for me to use my in fact it has um, natural elements in it uh, like lemon that disinfects and also provides vitamin C so I am getting healthier even as I'm cleaning which is completely and totally awesome I'm supporting my system even as I am cleaning so you can see the marker I put up to the first line okay and then the rest of it was water that's how big the bottle is right there and so I only used a little bit of that 
and put it inside this bottle and fill the rest with water. All right, Facebook, have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope this has been helpful to you, and uh, see you next time.